Hi guys, welcome back. Episode ninety one. Um, I can't remember where we left it last time because it's been a while for me. But we qualified second from a Champions League group, um, <clears throat> which is good. And we've had a really, really good run of form in the league recently. Wolves, Blackburn, three one, and obviously the League Cup third round over Northampton. Um, before that with the Arsenal, slipped up against Chelsea, but we sit third in the Premier League um, with a lot of teams below us, apart from United, uh, having played at least one or sometimes two extra games. Um, and we've played the same amount as Liverpool and Leicester, so we are looking pretty good. Still got our regular couple of unhappy players in the squad. Uh, Calvin, still unhappy that I haven't let him leave. Um, but I don't really want to because he's averaging almost an eight, which is like crazy. I do have this guy, so, you know, there is a possibility that, you know, Sheffield United, uh, although Adam Holzik is happy, Michael Ruth's still happy, he's wanted by Werder Bremen, Werder Bremen, sorry, um, Gavoy, um, shocked I don't consider him a first team player, it's because you're not, uh, and Gill is also unhappy because he feels he should be a first team regular, so lots of unhappy players, just the huge here, um, Winther's not looking good for this. Um, and especially against Sheffield United 10th. And we've got Forrest 19th. Actually, you know what? Let's play Winther. He should be good to, to go for this. Alright, off we go. Sheffield United. <coughs> yes, get in. Hughes. That's a good goal, Gary Hughes. Uh, just started pl playing and got that league game played really well and that's pushed him into the first team and uh, he's uh, he's repaying that faith which is good but they've got Leroy Sane god look at these moves bloody hell weird ah oh, Sanderberg that's annoying right on half time. Um, Alright, everyone's looking pretty good. Gary Hughes and yeah, they're probably all good as well. Let's get back out there. Uh, away from home, but this is not a game that we should be slipping up in. Um, Travis, six. Winther, six. Cowboy, six. Ugh. Perez isn't playing great. Let's bring Lookman on for Perez. And Josh Walsh on for Calvin. I know he's on an 8, but he is on a yellow card as well. Um, we'll give Sayed Manish a couple more minutes. Let's get him off. Michael Ruth. Um, let's get some mixed passing just to see what happens here. I have had some success with that in other things. Oof. I feel like we're making some chances here. We just come on, last little. No, we're not going to get this. It's going to be a draw. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Sam Johnston was obviously impeccable in goal. Um, that's a bit of a blow because we really, really needed that to to keep pushing Liverpool and Leicester. Um, Forest now on on Saturday. Uh, and then we come into our Champions League group t uh, phase two. Um, PSG, RB Leipzig. I think Liverpool is the other team in there. And then we've got the Intercontinental Cup jammed in between Sunderland League against um, Palmeiras. Is that how you say it? I think so. Um, yeah. Good. Gus Till. That's a good buy. He's a quality player. I know he's 29, but 5 million for him is a steal. I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. So he'll come in in January, which may now actually pave the way for um, for Calvin Phillips to go, I think. Captain. 
Shelf Ranch Captain. Yeah, influence 19 makes sense. Ah, uh, wash out for two weeks. Yeah, I think uh, potentially if we get a decent bid in now for Calvin Phillips, I would let him go. Um, he wants to go. I, I don't really want him to go um, because I um, I have a soft spot for him. Um, so, you know, I obviously don't want him to leave. Um, but I do have a good replacement, so, and in footballing terms, it makes sense, um, he's 31, I think, 30, 30, 31, his contract's got a couple more years left on it, I have a replacement for him, I signed him for two and a half million, I'm going to get like ten times that amount almost. Um, I was trying to get to Kfusa Kubo in as well, but um, <laughs> this doesn't want to join. All right, Nottingham Forest. Everyone's at a hundred percent. Although I've lost the Walsh. Get Vega on the bench. Last match, uh, Perez was wasn't that good, was he? Although to be honest, can't really drop him for one poor performance. That's not good form. Uh, get Egan back on the bench, and if I can get twenty million for Calvin, I'll let him go. Alright, here we go, Nottingham Forest, they are struggling right down the bottom of the table. Well, not right down the bottom, that's a lie. They're 19th, they won one game, scored 10 goals. Uh, they're not as bad as Reading. Um, but, this is an absolute must win. Get in. That guy, whose name is horrendously hard to pronounce. That's good. That puts us actually up into first. Wow. Leicester, though, do have a game in hand, and Liverpool have two, but that's good. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get back out there. Looking good. I'm gonna get Ruth on early. Say to Manish. I know he's on a seven. Win th is this his second six in a row? It is. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, they go on for Hughes. Let's just leave that for the moment. See if we can. Is that a penalty turned down? <coughs> Two one all draws in a row is going to be rather, rather frustrating. Calvin's on a nine again. That guy just killing it, killing it. Come on, guys. Oh, another bloody draw. Um... Do we... Where was it? Um, I don't know where it is. Uh, that was disappointing. We had some good chances, but we just struggling to convert them, and that's those two draws have just cost us now. It's really, really cost us. He's ineligible. Or am I still playing him? Yeah. 
I'm really annoyed. That's two draws against two absolutely winnable get, uh, teams that we should have beaten. I know they're away from home, but... We're fourth now. Like, I mean, you. Where are we? You give us at least <coughs> the the forest game there, and we're on twenty nine. We're top of the table. Liverpool lost to Everton. Whoa! That's even more annoying because we'd still be a point ahead of them. Sometimes I feel this game does this. You get a couple of dodgy results, and it um. And then the teams above you, they struggle as well. <laughs> anyway. PSG, Sunderland, we'll probably get um, Palmeiras in as well. Like a, uh, a Wolves victory here, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is Liverpool. That's a tough group. That. Oh, God. Oh, like a Wolves victory here. Six-one drubbing. Jeez. Thumped them. All right. Now, what did I say? We had Sunderland at the weekend, so we might have to. Yeah, we'll definitely rotate a bit for that Sunderland game. Oh, 40 grand for him, yeah. Go. Sorry, Victor Widdell. You just never quite... I feel like he's actually gotten better recently. Interesting. He's a decent right back. I probably really stifled his career, but anyway. <coughs> okay. Um, hmm. Um, what's... Out. Kalina's back. Uh, Gav oh. on the bench, and we will go go Vega and put Donis. Say to Manish. And go out like that. Yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. PSG, I don't think we've ever played them before. No, we haven't. We're at home. Breezy drizzle. Alright. Let's get out of there. PSG's got Donnarumma, that's right. Obviously, they've still got Kylian Mbappe, 28 years old now. Um, amazing career. Uh, yeah, a couple of other couple of other names, but it's all PSG at the moment, all one-way traffic as um, we try to get past them. Half-time, good, I'm happy with that at home. I like it if we were making a few more chances. Michael Ruth, not really, and Lewis Travis has got a shin injury, obviously, because I have no right back on the bench. Well, Cowboy's going to have to play right back. Boyce Clark. Yes, a goal against the run of play. is good. Arian Bai is on a yellow. Perez is on a six. Um, let's get Lookman on for Perez. And he... Uh, no, let's just... Bring his tackling to normal. There's less chance of that happening. That is a top goal. We've really struck back here. If we can hold on to this, that would be... A really, really good start. Oh, Zek. Um, 
because not to mention that we will also um, yeah get in Ruth if we can get a win over Leipzig here as well if we are beating Liverpool um, we go into that winter break in a really really good position good stuff good stuff what a game Donnarumma was excellent we really hit back there happy with that after two, two sort of um, I guess you'd call them lacklustre draws good stuff right Sunderland we'll rotate for that because we have um, Sorry, sad day Victor Videl is going. Um, yeah, we'll rotate for that because this game here is Continental Cup. Um, where's it being played? September. I have no idea where that is. I'm going to have to Google that. That. It's in Japan. How we play, play Sunderland here at home, then in Japan, and then back for Leeds. That's phew. hello jet lag. All right. Um. Yeah, I'd like to get the Intercontinental Com Intercontinental Cup. That would be a uh, no. And my cave's not going anywhere. Um. Yeah, so we will play a strong team for that and rotate Sunderland leads and then come in for a strong team against Leipzig. Um, strongish team against Tottenham. No, Tom Egan's not going anywhere either. He's probably more than a hot prospect. Um, Alright. <coughs> now, basically, what I'm going to do here, if anyone is under 100%, they're not going to play. I know some people are 99, but we've got a bit of a fixture congestion. So Lewis, Travis, Calvin, and Holzik are really the only people who are going to play. And the goalkeeper, obviously. Uh, all right, so Gavoy at left back. Centre back will be Egan. And you know what? Uh, put Sola, Travis, midfielders Madsen, Hughes, um, Perez, Perez, yeah, Perez is all. Uh, yeah, Perez off to play Lookman, and up front I'm gonna give. Hoffman a shot, say to Manish. Vega on the bench. Um, um, five, six, and oh, it's so annoying he's out for a few days with a stubbed tool. Um, Sambo. All right, we're at home. Give them a little bit of a tweak around there. Like I said, it's all about you know squad management. Um, Sunderland, meanwhile, are twelfth. Um, so get in, Gavoy. We actually have a uh, quite a um, record against Sunderland. We've played them twelve times. In the beginning, it took us five games before we even scored a goal and won. Um, and since then, we've beaten them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times on the bounce. It's quite funny. Quite funny indeed. They, uh, If you remember, they also start in League One as well at the beginning of this. So um, that's quite funny. And it is all us. They haven't even got a shot on target yet. Uh, everyone looks alright here. No one needs to make any changes there. I don't think we're up to second. 
in the league it is looking good I'd like another one here just to really okay Calvin's on a yellow let's get him off for oof On a nine as well. He just absolutely kills it, does Calvin. Absolutely kills it. Madsen is good. Kaufman. It's lacking match practice. Um, Lipman looks good on the left. Um, Bring Steve McCormack on for Lewis. Want to keep him fresh. Not great stamina though. Um, probably look to make another change. Say to Manish, come on for the last bit. And we'll defensive long normal pressing reminding the ball. Yes, good. <laughs> good, solid win. That's good with a... Um, mm, Leeds are in trouble there, 18th as well. We've got them after this Intercontinental Cup. Let's clear the squad uh, and let's push on to that. Another, another trophy to add along with our Super Cup win so far this year. Um, is that a full 15, 3, 7, 8? Oh no, we've got f just short. Um, it's on the 30th. I might not be able to get the Leeds game in. It's all good. Hopefully finish the episode on a high. With an Intercontinental Cup win. Um, yeah, Calvin Phillips is just awesome. Um, he still wants to go. <laughs> Don't want to let him. He's playing the best football of his career. The best. But, you know, I think his stats have gone through the roof. Peaking at 31. Old Calvin. The Yorkshire Perlo. Oh, how did this get a TV fixture? 20th versus 19th. When between them they scored 16 goals. God, that is a relegation six-pointer. Oh, that makes us really bad that we can only draw to Forest. Reading thumped them. Reading have only scored five goals. Almost doubled their goal difference. Or their their goals for I should say. <coughs> All right, here we go. Berry's first hit out in the Intercontinental Cup. Polina. Oh, sorry guys, had a sneeze there. Um, Winther, Arian, by Calvin. Donis had a nine last game. He's got the big game experience. I'm going to put him in um, with Perez on the left and Holzik on the right up front. Oh, Kaufman with two, Sada Manish with eight, and Ruth with three. It's Sada Manish, isn't it? Like then Ruth, Lookman, Vega, Hughes. Egan Cavoy. There we are. That's the team. Alright. We've obviously never played them in our life before. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. Um, 
Atlantis and Continental Cup. Oh God, they've been runners up three years in a row. They, uh, they won it in 2022 and then the runners up again in 2021. Barcelona won it two years in a row. Look at the look at the teams we will be joining if we can win this. Madrid, Boca, Liverpool, Juventus, Barca, United, Dortmund, Ajax, Sao Paulo, Milan, River, Independente. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Very in our traditional white and uh, dark blue, I think it is, I guess, if I wanted to be. And uh, Palmeiras in their uh, green and white kit. Um, we look to be dominating the game slightly. We've had a bit more possession. And wowzers, geez, we are smashing it past them. How have we not scored? Their goalkeeper, Gerson. He's not too bad, I guess. He's a pretty good goalkeeper. Boyce Clark's on a six because he's had nothing to do. And Calvin! Oh, Calvin Phillips, get in. Oh, a bigger turnout than we did in Monaco. Monaco. Obviously, the Japanese uh, a bit more keen for this than they were in Monaco. But that is an excellent start. We are full on all over them. Winter has got the thigh injury. Um... Bring Tom Egan on. What a game for him. The biggest games of his in life. Winther has been a rock at the back. Um, if we can get another one here. That will be settle some nerves on our side of the fence. Um, but the Brazilian goalkeeper is having a worldie stopping us from scoring. Although we do struggle up front to score. Um, couple of strikers just cannot seem to hit the back of the net re lately come on guys one more oh, the crossbar how many shots have we had 22 shots on goal bloody hell the goalkeeper yet yeah, in there it is Donis there's that experience coming through this is it Intercontinental Cup added to our list of trophies and it's Calvin Phillips once again just dominating the midfield passing it tackling heading the ball scoring goals what more can you want what a game could have been a lot more if it wasn't for their goalkeeper 25 shots on goal 18 on target bloody hell Intercontinental Cup Intercontinental Cup is won by us no one obviously really cares. Um, we are really turning into a dominant force. Uh, got, got a uh, got a double so far this year. If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna say the Super Cup and the Intercontinental uh, trophies. I mean, they they are trophies. There's no denying that. But do they count in that? Mm, if we can get more, we can do a treble. Uh, all right, guys, we're gonna leave it there. It was a pretty good see, pretty good episode actually. The the two draws were a little bit of a downer, but. Um, whenever PSG was excellent and then capping it off with a fantastic uh, Intercontinental Cup win was brilliant uh, remember guys, like the videos, comment, subscribe and I will see you next time, bye